Okay, hello and welcome to module five. Okay, so this week, well, you're over halfway, congratulations. And this week you have a secondary source assignment. It's very much like the primary source assignment that you did where you find five secondary sources and then you give their full citation, preferably in APA format. Be working on that. Also go to the Shapiro Library. There are great tutorials, great information about how to cite for APA. Um, and then you're gonna briefly summarize the source. You're going to evaluate the credibility of the source with the SIFT method. You're going to look who wrote it, when was it published, which organization published it, and explain why this author um, and, and the subject matter and the publishing source make it credible. You're going to describe any bias that's presented. And then um, you're going to explain the relevance to your topic. So this is just another building block for your project. Um, also, you have a quiz this week. So both your secondary source assignment and the quiz are due on Sunday. There's no discussion this week, but there's always the general questions discussion. You can always message me with questions. Um, the quiz is on the SIFT method. So make sure you review that. Um, and that's the week. Here's an example of a secondary source. So this is Commentaries on the Constitution of the United States. It was written by Joseph Story. Joseph Story was a Supreme Court Justice in the 1800s, the earlier 1800s. And so this is a credible source. He was a Supreme Court Justice. Article three of the Constitution says that the Supreme Court is to interpret the law. And um, so he gives a brief history of the history of the United States, so context. And then he explains, he goes line by line of the Constitution. So obviously the Constitution is a primary source, but this is largely explaining it. So I would call this a secondary source. Um, reach out to me if you're not sure if your source is primary or secondary, and have a wonderful week.